Hi there, it's mid-June of 2024 and yet another bevy of boxes has shown up at my post office box with plenty of artwork to share. It's a hundred and what, six, ten degrees outside. We just turned the air conditioning off so you get some nice clean sound in here and, uh, and we're going to get going. So let's go with the unboxing. First off, I have to show you what a gift that was given to me by my new friends, Aaron and Tristan who I met recently in Los Angeles and we drove around for a few hours and imagine, well, you'll, you're going to see this one absolutely, uh, staggered me. <laughs> it's already open. So it's a little bit, you know, chopped up, but I wanted you guys to see this. So, uh, it's a shaker. It's a cocktail shaker. And this cocktail shaker says on it, it was so quiet, you could almost hear the sound of the ice rattling in cocktail shakers in the homes way down the canyon. And where do you think that quote comes from? That is my favorite quote. When I started writing about the uh, the, the Benedict Canyon, Sharon Tate, La Bianca case, this is what really stood out to me in Helter Skelter. What a crazy uh, uh, statement that was. And... You guys were really so nice to send this to me and or give it to me when I saw you. So Aaron and Tristan, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you both. And this is ultra cool. Now we've got a lot of things to get through today and some are from, from very familiar faces or uh, people, yeah, faces. And some of them are names I don't recognize. I'll get to my cutting machinery. And again, my post office box is dazzled by your work, Tomas, and uh, by the Three Stooges. He's been having some problems with the uh, postal service, unfortunately. And yeah, this was attention. <laughs> Package mailed May 8th, arrived 6 3 after merry go rounds in Memphis, Phoenix, 11 times, unacceptable. Next time I will use UPS. So sorry you have to go through all that, Tomas. This is to, for, to, to make our lives more colorful, literally. And uh, But we appreciate it. And anxious to uh, to see. you. you there, I think there's three things, three packages in here from you today. So um, anxious to see what's going on here. And, uh, and for your troubles, we appreciate it. Historic Route 66. This is very cool. Jordan and I, I think it was one year ago today that we were on the route, Jordan and I, and uh, from Chicago to LA, making many, many stops. In fact, yesterday I even did another stop. Troy and I went back to um, the McDonald's Museum in San Bernardino. And uh, that was technically not on Route 66, but part of it in the uh, travels. And Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. And, uh, and Tomas, these are very cool. Love this. In fact, when we were, there, there were a lot of places on the route selling stuff like this, and I, I regretted not picking something up. So this is perfect. So thank you very much. Very, very cool. We like, we like it. Now, some of these packages have been sitting here for a very long time. And, uh, and since we had some work done at our house, some of these had to be, well, they were kept outside in my car. And unfortunately, it's been very, very hot lately. So there were hot boxes. Now, uh, this is an eBay thing. Oh, look at that. It's Jimmy. Jimmy the ornament. That is very, very cool. I wonder if there's a note on this. I now know this was sent to me by my friend Nora. So thank you, Nora. I love this. Jimmy, Jimmy, love it. Thank you. Jimmy. I was just talking to uh, my friend Dorothy at the James D Museum in uh, in Fairmount, and they're gonna have a big grand opening next year, or maybe later this year. I forget when that's going to be. 
of uh, the new James Dean Museum. Very excited about that. I'm not sure we're going to make it to the museum launch, but I look forward to it. Oh, look. I will. Wow. Oh, these are cool. The Coconut Grove, the Brown Derby. The home of Bud Abbott and Luke Costello. Well, that's somewhere Sun Drown. Grohman's Chinese, Red Skelton's Palm Springs home. Knott's Berry. Look at that, Troy. It's your old stomping grounds. Knott's Berry Farm. So I'm going to read what the note has to say. Oh, there's something special in this one. Okay, note. Note to self. Uh, Andy from Memphis. Hey, Andy. Enclosed our treasures for you and Troy. The two postcards in the envelope mark special I think you will like. Here is some backstory on the two buildings. First off, on the one of the buildings is Baptist Hospital. Of course, that's this is where Lisa Marie Presley was born. It's also where Elvis died. And, uh, and whenever he needed a good rest, people knew which room he was because the windows of his room would be covered in aluminum foil. <laughs> Those are my windows, practically. I used to do that. Uh, and also where Elvis was taken by ambulance on August 16th, 1977. He was brought into the emergency room and I believe pronounced dead. The second is a national funeral home, which uh, later changed to Memphis Funeral Home, which is also where they handled Elvis and taken to be prepared. It's located about a mile. I did a video about that. Enjoy these treasures and all the best to you and Troy, Andy. And these are the two he's talking about. There's Memphis Funeral Home. I was there before it was destroyed. And there is Baptist Hospital, where Elvis was pronounced dead. I did a video on uh, on that and on this, I think, uh, not that long ago, the Memphis Funeral Home. And it might have even had something to do with the Lisa Marie when I did the Lisa Marie video. But yeah, these are cool, awesome, Andy. Love these Knott's Berry Farm ones. And what's this? Hotel Durant in Berkeley, California. The Village Inn, Carmel by the Sea. Oh, that's downtown LA. That's the Halls of Justice. Hi, folks. Just put our foot in at the Chinese Theater. I love the Chinese Theater. That was my favorite place in the world for many, 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 many decades. These are also very cool, Andy. Thank you. Look at Hollywood Boulevard. There was a time when that was the tallest building in Los Angeles. Crazy. These are cool. Thank you, Andy. Next up is this one. And this one comes from our friend. And it's from Neil Robertson. And Neil, excited to see this. Enjoy. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Troy, it's your favorite. Twiglet. I see twiglets. Oh my God. All kinds of wagon wheel Watusi. <gasps> wagon wheel Watusi. Twix. Oh, and luckily I can feel them moving in there. They were in my car, but they haven't. Wow, bounty bars. Look at this. Oh man, we are set. And they're all moving. I was afraid. They were already afraid. stuck together. Yeah, from being in the 115 degree car. Oh my shit. Look at this. Holy heck. Oh, man, Neil, you are so kind. Look at all this. Look at this. Jammy, two packages of Jammy Dodgers. Oh, my God. See, Troy's going to take all this stuff and hide it. And then it'll, a Lion Bar is my favorite. And Twix It's going to hide it. And then in about five years, he'll find it. <laughs> and look at Shepherd's Pie good. Mix. Shepherd's Pie Mix. Wow. Now, I mean, this, what a treat. Whoa. I bet you, I don't have any British friends here in the U.S. or I would share, well, I do actually, but not around here. Look at this haul. Yeah. The, I think Americans, if they haven't tasted, well, they know what Twix is, but I, I don't know if this is probably, you know, British chocolate is different from American chocolate. Yeah. So, yeah, it's basically the same thing. It does have a slightly weird taste. This totally different taste. Different, right. <laughs> but Twiglets, I don't, you know. I don't know if Americans really like that no, stuff. No, no, they I won't. Do. I know you do. I don't. These will be around for 10 years. 
<laughs> if it were anime. They're but like Vegemite tasty. These are, these are, yeah. Not that even a lot of my friends don't even know what that it's is. It's basically. It's really, it's like a salty spread. It's a paste. It's a that yeast. That tastes like. Yeah. Like deliciousness. Like the most bitter awful <laughs> it's like imagine imagine chocolate and grapefruit <laughs> you know <laughs> that's it is so i mean that that's the aversion i have to these and troy loves them wagon wheels love them jammy dodgers yeah, i mean oh, the jammy dodgers are, yeah they're, they're so simple but they're so good yeah they are everything is good thank you neil you're really really kind i hope you're doing well these are very much appreciated actionaries arrive safely we just had a wagon wheel and no melted chocolate and it was great and i'm not going to show you me show you uh me eating it because i have an aversion to watching people eat and listening more so listening to people eat that's like a, a thing of mine like when, when they react to food oh i, I can't i can't oh my oh, oh, I am. <laughs> oh i hate it we've got another package from lovely nora nora who is one of my wonderful Patreon sponsors. Now Nora sent some books. Ooh. Oh, look, Hollywood Homes, postcards from the... Oh, cool. Ooh, look, sugar books. Neat. Jeff Chandler, that's Palm Springs. Betty Davis. Where, that was North Hollywood she lived in? Maybe that's like Toluca Lake now. Oh, and who hasn't wondered where Louise Fazenda lived? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she died in 62. Character actress. I'm not making fun of her. It's just a, it's just a name that you don't really hear. Sisu Hayawaka. Hayakawa. God, that was... Where was that? In Hollywood. Hmm. That's very cool. Very cool. Oh, there's Carl Annelly. We were just talking about... Uh, about his daughter, Carla Lamely, who was, we just talked about her with someone. Oh, the Patreon page. I do a, um, yeah, Carl Lamely. Uh, we, I do a private video for the Patreon subscribers. If you want to subscribe, it's on the description below. And for a monthly donation, you get more stuff. So uh, let's see what this says. Uh, Scott and Troy, I uh, hope you are well. I'm sending you these from my book collection. I hope you enjoy them. Keep the videos coming. Best to you, Nora Graves. Nora Graves, you're so nice. There's more, another book in here. Nice. More Hollywood Homes by Mike Oldham. Neato. Gosh, those were the days. Those were the days. Peter Falk, wow, that's an old house. That's a really old house because the one he's been in on Roxbury Drive, he's been in that for decades. Interesting. Cool, Nora Graves. Thank you very much. Ooh, Liberace, I saw it today. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the house his mother got mugged in. Hmm. Cool. I like these very much. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Nora. Nice, Nora. Lovely purple package here, and I don't know who sent this. I'm just going to have to destroy it, I think. You know, it's funny. It's like I remember I remember growing up, and everyone trying really hard to save wrapping paper, but no one ever reused it. They just <laughs> folded it up nicely and put it in the garbage. But uh, <laughs> I don't remember ever reusing it. Oh, look at Marilyn Monroe, Paper Dolls, by David Wolf. Is there a note in here? No. I found out that this was sent to us by Nora Graves as well. And it was just announced uh, a couple of days ago that they are going to decide in two weeks the fate of Marilyn's home in Brantwood. The one that she lived in and died in. They're trying to make it into a historic landmark. Scott Fortner of the Marilyn Monroe Collection and Elisa Jordan and Jackie Craig and a whole lot of people are uh, are fighting to get it historical designation. I hope it happens. I do. That's, we've seen that at the Academy Museum with the Jane Russell one. I don't think I've seen any of these other ones in person. 
the Misfits. Because I went to that auction. I don't have the nude dress. Is the it nude? the nude dress? No. Some like it hot. Uh, the nudie dress. Or not nudie, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this just comes out with big rhinestones and, <laughs> and guitars. Um, bus stop, I recognize that. But no, not the, the new dress isn't here. Oh, that's my favorite Marilyn look. Was her? And oh that. yeah, some, something's got to give. Yeah, yeah she looks the maybe. best in that movie. She looks so good. Very cool indeed. Thank you so much, Nora. Thank you. I sense final. I think I need to choose a new weapon, and we'll go with the simple yellow box cutters because they're easy to deal with here and remember how I never sliced up my hand in an unboxing video but I sliced up my hand with water water it's gonna be scarred forever with vinyl by the way, I'm, I'm ignoring this cool art. Ted, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Maryland, RCA. Tiki's. Fragile. You know, I have to look once we get, what's this say? 8905 88th Street, Woodhaven, New York. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Between two evils, I always pick the one I've ever tried before. I used to be Snow White, but I drifted. Too much of a good thing can be wonderful. So that's all Mae West. Mae West quotes. Oh, look at that. As seen on TV. Hit after hit. Oh, it's Ronco. Ronco presents. I was going to say Ronco or k -Tel. Oh, these are really... Oh, it's all disco. Melissa Manchester... Smokey Robinson, Billy Joel. Billy, no, it's not all Billy Joel. I mean, huh. Silver Connection, Get Up and Boogie, more, more, more. Space City, Roller, Diana Ross, Mahogany, definitely not disco. These are fun. Leo Sayer, Long Tall Glasses, If I Can Dance. Wet Willie, some of these I don't know. Brotherhood of Man, Save Your Kisses for Me. Cool. Jonathan Winters. I don't think I've ever listened to his stand-up. Thank your lucky stars. Humphrey Bogart, Eddie Cantor, Betty Davis, Errol Flynn, John Garfield, Olivia de Havilland, Joan, Joan Leslie, Ida Lupino, Dennis Morgan, and Sheridan, Dinah Shore. Sher and Sheridan came up again yesterday. We were talking about her. An original soundtrack. This is another movie I know nothing about. There's Ann Sheridan. I think it's a famous Ann Sheridan picture, though. Patty McDaniel's in it. She didn't get a name a, a name check on the front. What year was this? I can't tell. Nice. Forever Judy, who just had her 102nd birthday. And we're coming up on our anniversary of her death 55 years ago. Everything. Over the rainbow, the trolley song. Little Nellie Kelly. Judy. And Judy. The best of Judy Garland. Very nice. That's a nice picture. Very nice picture. Thank you very much. A pretty girl milking her cow. Zing went the strings of my heart 55 years ago this month. Thank you, Tomas. Thank you very much. This is familiar packaging, not familiar packaging, but it's from our lovely friend Lance. September 2nd, 1967. What does this say? Lance Lori established free shrimp roll, shrimp roll inside. All right, let's see what's going on here, Lance. box has been scented to smell like Chinese food. Excuse any stains. <laughs> Does it smell like oh, look, it is Chinese food. 
And this newspaper, okay, this newspaper, what year is it? Let's see, let's take this. I see a Sears ad. Funeral homes in Brooklyn and Queens. The Flushing Funeral Home. America's first Jew reformed Jewish day school. Dramatic, and he says, dramatic reductions. Reduced. I don't see a date on this. It must be at the bottom. Oh, maybe on the side. Here we go. January 29th, 1966. 66? Or 86. I think it's 86. That makes sense. That's not 61. 86. Yeah, I can see it better on that side. This is fun, though. I'll definitely go through those, but... So you've sent something in a Chinese food container. I love containers. Is it la choy? Which is real Chinese food. Oh, the Salminio fan club. Isn't that cool? really appropriate because I have on my desk this Salminio video that I'll be doing. This is so cool. Thank you, Lance. Wow, this is like real stuff too. Like like vintage. Of course. You always send us cool stuff. Neat. Oh. And really, it is just, I'm working on it like as we speak. Salminio video. Perfect timing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very cool. And we will plow through the newspaper. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> How fun. Such fun. Misty. Misty of Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter has sent another box of treasures. I can see. Misty needs another weapon. We have to get another weapon. Um, I don't think we can do this. The, the saw won't work, I don't think. Maybe it will. It's a cake cutter, but it, oh, it works. <laughs> Slowly, but it works. <laughs> I like your your packaging tape, Misty. Very cool. A selection. I see it. Scott and Troy. I brought a lot of old. I bought a lot of old cameras, and these films. We're in the box. Many hours of voyeurism for Troy. Report back if there's any juicy stuff. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. Troy. Other people's pictures. Your favorite. <laughs> Your favorite. Wow. These, there are tons of, well, we're gonna have to brush off the camera again. Enjoy weirdos. <laughs> That's funny. You're the weirdo, not me. It was plural. <laughs> Oh, Van Giel Western Trip. See now, I like looking at these two, but I have an issue with it just because, just because they're somebody else's memories. Ooh, cool. What's it? plastic, recycled plastic? Is this a toy? It must be. Frozen, ultra rare frozen. Oh, look. Oh, I don't even want to open it. What is it though? It looks like there's old chicken pieces in here. I mean, like, little toy chicken pieces. Mini brands. I, I should open it, shouldn't I? Because we don't get stuff to collect stuff, do we? Let me open, let me see what else is in here first. You guys, there's so much stuff. More, look at that cool box of film. Wow. Oh, this is not, you, what? It's, I could smell it. I could smell it's the film. Like yes, it does. Vinegars. No. Oh. <laughs> Can you smell? Yeah. You smell the film? This is not used. Yeah. Oh, really? No. It's, uh, this has not been processed. That's, like, straight out of the camera. And, uh, with the Judy and Jerry pictures. Old reels. And that's cool. Wow. This is fascinating. Oh, my gosh. Look. 
destroy. Oh, okay. we were just saying we needed these. We upstairs. were saying <laughs> this because we we have a, we use them outside, and <laughs> it's so hot they disintegrate. <laughs> they just <laughs> fall apart. And we oh, this is so very nice of you, Misty. I I and I believe these are burlap. I think. Yeah. It's like. Burlap, like stiff burlap. Look at yeah. it. It does look like it. I would never have guessed. Because ours are just about toast, aren't they? Yeah. The ones we have there are no good. How interesting you are to other people. Hang on to your emotions. The nutrition quacks. How to wake up on the right side and be loved forever. There you go, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Bam, 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 bam. How interesting are you to other people? This is something I'll have to look at because I think I'm boring. What do you think, Troy? Be very careful. Mm. Be very careful. <laughs> That's very <laughs> neat. Man. Thank you. Very, look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have, oh, there's so much stuff. Matches, Tropicana, now it's dead. The Dunes, Dunes is gone now too. These are Vegas matches. The Flamingo, the Flaming Goo, the Silver Slipper gone, top of the strip, I don't even know, oh, that's the Dunes, I think that's gone, Stardust is gone, I believe, the Sands, Sahara, these are awesome, oh, Folly Berger, that was, um, wasn't that the Tropicana, yeah, it sure was, Tropicana dead. They're gonna, they're uh, stripping it down now and they're gonna be doing an implosion at some point. Uh, but all the, I just saw some pictures of it yesterday. There's a lot of stuff here, Misty. Oh, look. It's um, Elvis and Jimmy. Jimmy's coming up today. Yeah, he is. Recording tape, reel to reel. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's got stuff on it. Now we need a reel. We have a reel to reel machine literally two years in repairs. Two years in repairs. And this is all marked. Look at that. Ernestine calls Jacques Cousteau. Oh, this is all Lily Tomlin. This is all stand up stuff. Wow. Steve Allen, Laughing News on it. Da -da. Untouchables, JFK. Wow, some of the JFK and the Bay of Pigs. Holy heck, 72 laughing. Somebody took, look at that, somebody made the, all that. I hope we get our real to real machine that works. I really do. Ooh, Bobby Gentry. Touch him with love. Yeah, Bobby. Son of a preacher man. I like Bobby Gentry too. Bill, um, my friend Bill helped uh, install something at her house back in the 70s. I forget what it was. A, um, I think a bed. Because Bill also uh, delivered a bed to Josh like a boar's house up in, the, in Beverly Hills. And there's more. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you got a heck of a system going on here, Misty. I like your... Uh, your packaging. Ooh, Nancy's. Sugar. She lives on Frank Sinatra Drive, which is kind of funny. Boots. Classic album. The Blues Brothers. We just watched this recently. The Blues Brothers movie. I love that. Went to Juliet Prison last summer with Jordan. Love. I love that movie. This was a great movie and a great soundtrack. Cab Calloway sang Minnie the Moocher. That's how I got turned on to Cab Calloway. And um, and uh, Aretha, of course, sang uh, um, Think. And no, that was good. That was a good soundtrack. Orange Whip. And the Colonel. We love the Colonel. We've been watching... What's it called? The Food That Made America? The Colonel was pretty hardcore. He was very hardcore. And I um, I felt like morally I can never eat a post-product after watching that documentary. That was so offensive to me that these people with visions get ripped off. 
This is great though. Chad Atkins, Sergio Frank. Very cool. And there's more. And wait, there's more. I could see Liberace peeking out. <laughs> We're going to be enjoying this stuff. Ooh, two headed woman and pregnant. Yes. It's not funny anymore because it really is one. Carnival Sideshow Star will give birth in October. I was taken to heaven in a UFO. I love this. This is the Weekly World News. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> These are fun. Eliminate unwanted hair in two minutes. Lovely Allison is looking for a British lad who is both a joker and a gentleman. I go for men who act silly and make me laugh. The London, England model says, I also like guys who open doors and treat me like a lady. Here you get punched if you open up a drawer or somebody. Cries like a baby. These are, I love the Weekly World News. This is very fun. And, oh look at a movie star magazine. In here. Ten new Elvis stories. A boy who followed Jimmy Dean to death. Why Liz is still jealous of Debbie. I gotta I gotta see the Jimmy article. These are great. Oh, look at this, Jim Rockford. And there's Peter Brown. There's Rockford. Julian. I was just looking at Ju Julian's auction recently, this last weekend, and they had some pretty cool James Garner stuff available. Ten Elvis stories. Liz and Debbie. Ricky Nelson, how Ed Burns gets all the girls, the miracle of love. Roger, let's say I'm Margaret and Roger Smith. Where is it? No. Roger Smith and who? Hmm. I don't know who this person is. Daughter, ba ba ba, Smith's high in the hill, dog, Nanook, Tyrone. Isn't it funny? You really got to look for her name. I'll cut this short, but I want to find her name. That's outrageous. I have to look for her name and I can't find it. The proud smile of the woman you love, proud of the baby she's given you, proud of you, the satisfaction of finally having achieved your goals and more. These are the precious gifts that, uh, <laughs> that love has brought to Roger Smith. These are real values that far surpass the wildest fancies Roger's ever dreamed. The stage career of his first wish from his parents, first show, Roger, Roger. His father was, he made his debut where he studied in a body, Mayan Theater, Wilshire E. Bell Theater. There is no mention of her name. That's so bad. It's in the back somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, there's Jimmy. Who's the guy that followed him to death? Look at that. At the bottom of a 150-foot ravine in Benedict Canyon, California, Tom Pittman's body was discovered dead in a Porsche raid. I know this. That's in my, uh, yeah, my Benedict Canyon file. What does that have to do with Jimmy? Uh, circumstances of his life were tragically reminiscent of James Dean, 1955. Tom, unlike Jimmy, was considered one of Hollywood's most promising, like Jimmy. Rebel, da da da. But, okay, we'll get into that. Curse of Benedict Canyon. Boobies. Roger Smith's wife, I'm sorry. I know it'll be there somewhere. And one last thing couple last things it looks like Lee 
Supposedly, these were taken the day after Liberace died. His Las Vegas. Oh, oh, look at that. Which just opened. The Tivoli Gardens just reopened in the Liberace Plaza. So these are taken. Ooh, neat. Well, look me over. You'd never know Liberace lived there. Wow. He had. He had. Oh, that's right. I think he had those uh, machines rigged so his mother won all the time. Like his mother would sit there for hours and he made sure they were rigged so she would always win money. He just kept putting his own money into it. These are crazy. So this is Lee's home, not Palm Springs home where he died, but his Vegas home. Maybe this, these were taken by the estate to uh, to document the house before thieves got into it. Wow, these are very cool. So, interesting. Taking the day after Liberace died, it's Las Vegas home. These are very cool. Misty, thank you. The, uh, what, a, what, a, what a lovely batch of goodies. Thank you so much. These are, wow. We're gonna cool cocktail hour outside with our new Burl app. And then tonight, it's home movies. Other people, oh, I'll open this. I mean, screw it. Like I said, I don't collect things to collect things. I collect things to enjoy just to figure out how to open it. And uh, collectors are probably gonna lose their mind when they see me doing this, but. Another one? Oh, <laughs> look. Stuff. I'm gonna. Oh, screw it. I'm gonna open them. Oh, these are cute. Look at a little Kentucky Fried <laughs> Chicken chicken sandwich in a little in aluminum foil thing. Looks delicious. It does. <laughs> does it smell? <laughs> no. God, Misty. <laughs> they don't even smell. <laughs> <laughs> I, but it's I, wow, this is really fascinating that um, oh look at it's uh, it's one of their bowl no what is that oh it's a chicken pot pie God my mom and dad used to go and get their chicken pot pies something in it no it crushed oh shit we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen broke it already I know these are cute though I still have to do a video one day of all my Kentucky Fried Chicken memorabilia cute. Yeah, with ice. A bucket. That's about how big they are now. Yeah. <laughs> but the price never changes. <laughs> and is this another? It's Oh, it's a closed bucket. Hey, these are neat, Misty. Thank you. Very cool. I love this stuff, and and really awesome stuff. Thank you. Very cool. I had to go back to this video, or to this um, this magazine, because I really want to know who his wife is. And I'm going through this whole thing. I know her name now, but in no way is this here on in the name. Her name is not in this. So I had to go back to page 58. And continues on. Rogers, the owner and manager of Tarantula Centipede and Scorpion Farm. That's kind of funny. Nagali's High School um, decided that show business could be his life, despite the risks. He learned to sing Calypso. After two and a half years of college, he da da da. Uh, James Cagney, Roger could hardly wait for his discharge. He, so he was in the military, I guess. Uh, girl he met, Roger did. So it goes all the way down to almost at the very end. It says, while at Columbia, he met Australian build beauty Victoria Shaw, who was in the States making an American film, The Eddie Dukin Story. They didn't live happily out there. This is the part I want to read. Because of his, her success in the Dukin picture, Victoria was the toast of Hollywood. Roger had trouble getting more film roles. It was a trying time for the newlyweds in a time when Roger first began to learn the miracle of love. Victoria had film officers. Roger never asked her to give up her career, um, but she turned them all down. She saw the danger of eclipsing her young husband in movies. Through her faith in him, 
could be based on little more than uh, love at the time. She encouraged Roger to keep trying. She was determined to concentrate on being a wife and mother and leave a career to her young husband. Victoria's faith in him worked a miracle for Roger. Good film parts. As, that's awful. So she was quite successful. She ditched it all for him. And he never really, he did a couple of things. But he became Mr. Ann Margaret. And um, so that's kind of gross. Kind of gross that she had to do that. Good story, though. Poor Victoria Shaw. I don't know what happened. Maybe Roger got some success and dumped her. I don't know. I don't know. I see a name, but sometimes these names don't show up as the people. Oh my God, a Liberace head knocker. Well, look at Yeah, over. the bobbleheads. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Liberace bobblehead. This is so cool. And I'm gonna open it. It's been opened before, so collectors don't lose your shit that I'm breaking any kind of seals. <laughs> because we love using stuff that we like. When we reopen our museum at some point, we're gonna have a Look, look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Scott. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> I wish my brother George was here. Well, look me over. Is this the one that fell on us? Again, I have to thank my friend Nora Graves for sending this to us. We found out later that Nora sent this to us. So thank you, Nora. It's very, very, very cool. And I'm going to say thank you, because I love this. And, yeah, I love all this stuff. We both do, don't we, Troy? Yes. We do. I should just keep Lee out here. Yeah. And I say oh, Lee, watch. because we're close personal friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Donnie Culver. It's Donnie, our friend from uh, the Stingrays and the amusement parks. And we met him at the L.A. County Fair. His family toured with uh, a Stingray exhibit, and we have become friends. And Donnie sent us some wonderful things in the past. And he's sending us. Okay, so I'm going to read this first. I marked a couple of pages in the maroon book for you to look at. That book was my dad's. I don't know what the gene thing is. Maybe you were Troy Noah, but I have a friend in England. Okay, I should just open these because it's telling me what they are and I like that he's... Ooh. Look at that, a bank box. This is cool. I have a fetish about containers, boxes and containers, and this is like, I love this. I know. Kind of satisfying. It is, because that's really, this is 100 years old. <laughs> I mean, right in, come in, drive in. Um, it's a really sturdy thing. Oh, look at it. Oh, I see playing cards that we can't show because they're nudies. Stay trippy, little hippie. Bobby Vinton. The Velvet the the Blue Velvet Theater. I like Bobby Vinton. My Melody of Love. Have a ball. Putt Putt McDonald's. Putt Putt. I used to love Putt Putt Golf. I still do. Gene. It's Gene from the Prime. Oh, Gene Brody. Miss Gene Brody. It's Sambo's. Sambo's. <laughs> cool. Cool. Maybe I can show the nudies. I'll just cover the nudie part. Oh, no, they're not even. You want to see my heart on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, see, they're not they're not nudie nudie. I don't think. I'll have to look. No, they're just studs. Studs. I'm going to have to cover these up anyway because YouTube will flag it. That's a lot of flesh. But this is cool. Stud poker. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> these are fun. A shell. Oh, little dice. We like miniatures too. Now I should probably read what you're... Uh, very important places for those who have been everywhere else. Oh, fun. Gag matches. 
Alcatraz on the rocks. They're like wacky packages. Yeah, but patches. yes, cremation our specialty. Right for booklet at what's cooking. <laughs> Dead on your feet. Lie down and call us. Our new location, 7436 Rigger Boulevard at Mortis Street, <laughs> where rigor meets Mortis. Oh, these are fun. These are great. Alcatraz Sanitarium. For when you're sick, sick, sick. These are great. Golden Naval Dance Hall. 12 blondes, 12 redheads. Drinking problem? Alcohol is Alcoholics Unanonymous. <laughs> Our creed, work is the curse of the drinking class. <laughs> these are great illustrations on these things. Buckingham Palace, where you feel like a king. Wow, I wonder if um, if this is really from like the 40s, when, or the 50s, the 40s before Queen Elizabeth uh, was uh, crowned. Mabel's House of Ill Fame. Temptation Road. These are great. The Kremlin. Moscow. The IRS. These are really fun. Opium Den. Happy Dream. The Happy Dream Opium Den. Where good friends meet. These are great. Hunt, hunting College for Girls. Where the hunting... Who are hunting for husbands nudist camp in bare skin New Mexico. Bear skin, get it? Now I can I'm gonna read I'm gonna read. Um, gossip magazines. Thank John from Liverpool. Okay, there's gossip magazines in here. It, it looks like I'm being gosh look at that. Okay. I, I'm being kind of sloppy right here. Whoa. Whoa. Gosh there's cool stuff. Careful. I can recognize the mirror. The heart of Britain. Baby, you're a rich man too. Rishi Sunak. Who's the PM? Okay. Thank you, John from Liverpool. The money bag is some things in there. These are um who else is in the is in the rags? Dr. Doodle. We can chin wag with apes. The other chin waggers. Chin wag is a conversation. Like Sadie used to say, let's have a natter. Oh. It's like, we'll sit down and have a nice chin wag. <laughs> so this is 2000. Oh, this is recent. This is May 2024. This is back, well, this the sun is the worst. The mirror is a close second. And in and, and a good way. I mean, I, they're the worst of the best. No, the best of the worst, we'll say. I love the I love the tabloids. Love them very much so. Oh, the star. Oh, my God. That's like the worst, worst. Since the weekly world news or the, the, the sport, or whichever, whichever one that got put out of business. Weekly world, no, weekly news. I forget which one that was. With Rebecca, what's your face? Oh, these are great. Scoff too many bacon buddies and the brain shrinks. You know what a buddy is? Sangrich. <laughs> bacon Sarney. Oh, Katie, it's Perry. These are great. And it's also a good education. <laughs> I love these. All right. And we've got a Rolling Stone with just uh, not Justin Bieber. <laughs> Have you been to Zac Efron? <laughs> that is a place, isn't it? The victims. May of '69, murder of Janice Wiley. Oh, it's in Cold Blood. Preview of the best crime books until Cold Blood. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to. Uh, 
the Rolling Stone, the rest of the stuff is just kind of interesting. Okay, the money bag has some things in it. The bag is cool because it's vintage 50s, 60s design, which it is very cool. Okay. And the rest of the stuff is just a, the Rolling Stones magazine. The shell necklaces are for you to uh, enjoy cocktails. As usual, I don't package extensively to avoid bloodletting. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for all you do. do. Thank you, Donnie. I have to, we've got this, but you also said um, pages in the maroon book. This book was your dad's. I don't know what the gene thing is. Maybe you're trying. The primary Miss Jean Brody was a book. Ooh. <laughs> Shrine Circus. Oh man, this is a nice book from the circus. Notice the first president. Oh, look at that. It's Wild Bill, uh, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill Cody. It's the first president of the Showman's League. <laughs> These are great. This is all like amusement park. Traveling circus, carnivals. Oh, this is so cool. And I'm a little bit obsessed with amusement park accidents. Which there was just one the other day in England where these people were thrown off a ride. I forget where that was. Uh, what was the other one? You, you marked it. You said you marked two pages. There it is, back there. The top photo. Oh, it's Colonel Tom, Tom Parker, who was a showman. Hmm. Donnie, thank you. These are are are, are awesome. Really cool stuff. Simon so and Garfunkel. Oh, it's a poster. They were so young, look at that. 1966, I think it says, or 68, so 68. Thank you, Donnie. These are uh, the matches, the book, the, the mag, everything. Oh, I didn't even see this one. A Who's Who of Film, World Almanac. Oh, look, here's Goldie Hawn. I'm gonna go out to lunch. I want to wear sandals. Diana Doors, the, the English Marilyn, used to be married to uh, Richard Dawson, Tiki Dawson. Her name was Diana Fluck. That's how she was born. John Crawford, Hume Cronin, Marie Chevalier. Bon, bon, bon. Very cool. Do Donnie, thank you for your thoughtful gifts, really. These are uh, wonderful. I can't wait to really enjoy them thanks when i was packing things I, I missed something this is from donnie's uh the package donnie sent too and this is uh another film mag featuring sandra d with a lid off which is kind of funny ish funny but not uh where, i was looking for a year on this it's uh, august 1960 Imagine my surprise when I had my first blind date with Tony Perkins, I would imagine. Oh, who are these? Who's this beefcake? Roger Moore and Jody McRae. God, Roger Moore, so young. I'm practicing for marriage. Wee! Molly B's having a fling at independence. She's got some whopping thoughts on men, marriage, breakups, and gossip, and can openers. Bob, let's say Robert Conrad. Debbie. Debbie. It's Tuesday Weld. Oh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Very cool. Jerry Lewis, Mr. Friendly. I hope you don't think I'm brash. I ask, what do you think is the... <laughs> but do you think... It's right to kiss a girl goodnight on our second date. I'm bashful, and I like the girl a lot. I'm too shy to kiss her in front of her parents. What should I do? Kiss her? Sign Frankie. Well, now, Frankie, 
you're what we call a conservative. Most of us insist upon kissing the girl goodnight on our first date if we like her a lot. But I can see how the audience appearance would be restrictive. However, you've got to take the risk. Kiss her tenderly and not frantically. And uh, have courage, man. Cool. Thank you, Donnie. Again, thank you. Okay, Tomas. Another package from Tomas. Wonderful world of Tiki. Thomas Rolla. You heard me. Look at me with the tab hat. Tiki Tiki tab me. No animals harmed. Or, you know, in the manufacture of contents. Marcus Registrata, U.S. Patent Office. Oh, you. It looks like a shirt. I have to, um, oh, yeah. looks like a shirt. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is really pretty. Look at that. With pockets for your yeah. cigarettes. <laughs> wow, this is really neat. And this is, uh, <laughs> I like the brand name. <laughs> that that farm. Farm. <laughs> pretty hot and tempting. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. That's really cool. This is beautiful. Wow. That is very, very cool. And we have a Jell-O cookbook, The Joys of Jell-O, which will never, ever... I hope there's like tuna dishes. <laughs> Jell-O tuna dishes. <laughs> that's just aspic, isn't it? <laughs> it's a savory spinach salad. With lime gelatin, savory, Pennywise salad, or send for molds. We have a few Jello molds in our hanging on our wall. Hey, cool! Oh, look at that! Jello badges, strawberry. I, yeah, this shirt is is incredible. Siegfried and Roy. I've never sat through a Siegfried and Roy show, so this is going to be a real treat. Narrated by Anthony Hopkins. And another cool shirt. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> These are beautiful. Look at the colors on that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Love these. Thank you, Tomas. I mean, really, honestly, you about I was just so kind and generous. We know such nice people. And um, and they smell good too. Do you smell it? Yeah. Oh, it smells really good. Instead of smoke. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. I love that color too. That's uh, these are so neat. Thank you, Tomas. Very cool. Very cool. My gosh, so cool. So cool. This one comes from, when is the last time you saw a Joy Lansing Scopitone Web of Love sticker? Have you ever? No, but I've seen those Scopitones of her. They are fab. Yeah, they are. They're on YouTube. They're now on YouTube, the Scopitones? Oh, yeah. We had that one well, DVD. They haven't been taken down, but yeah. The Scopitones, if anyone doesn't know it, look up Scopitone Machine. If you like gadgets, if you like machines from like the 50s and the 60s, it's a jukebox that played films yeah. and cool really cool films just just man they, they are neat zoltar very cool oh yeah so nice okay so let's see scissors it's not working you want scissors no Is that a 
No, this is, yeah, and this is Tina Louise's freshman yearbook. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is fun. This is wild. That'll go good in the good Gilligan file. Where is she? Where is she? Tina Louise. Wow. <laughs> Down here. That, you know, talk about someone that's gone through some transitions. I mean, you had people that sometimes, it's like, oh, but I would use it as Joan Crawford. is like, there's a Joan Crawford look. And then 10 years around, that is a totally different person. But it's Joan Crawford. You know what I mean? Tina Louise had many incarnations, I think. Hollywood, then and now. Mansfield, Van Doren, and Doors. Heidi, these are cool. Personal Memories of Marilyn. Jean Arthur. Good old Marilyn. God bless her. Marilyn. Yeah. 30 years after her death. Do you believe it's been over 60 now? Anita Page. Ah, look at her. Anita Page. Look, Anita Hole in the Head. Yvonne DiCarlo. I just lost on her teeth. They were selling her teeth at Julian's Auctions, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't go that high on it that they wanted. But I thought it would go well with Mae West's teeth. But it wasn't going to happen for us. A guest in, oh, the Hollywood Roosevelt. Look at that. It's 53, 54 edition. Okay. Hope you enjoyed these items. I found like doing more clearing out of stuff. Mitzi. Mitzi Crabtree. Mitzi. Mitzi Crabtree. Yeah, bring on the scary. Mitzi. Look at that. And I'll be going there in a couple of weeks to the Roosevelt. I should bring this with me. Don the Beachcomber. Look. Don the Beachcomber. That was on McCadden Place. That was, uh... Damn. Look at these old businesses from around Hollywood. Maxi Singapore Spa. Oh, do you know what? I have matches from that. That was one of the places I was going to look up. The Singapore Spa. Genuine Hickory Barbecued Spare Ribs. These are so cool. Sportsman's Lodge gone. The Willow Parsons says a must. Oh, look, it's Forest Lawn. I did a video about that statue with the Munchkins visiting it in 1939. The Mulholland Fountain. This is wonderful. The Desert Inn in Palm Springs. Gosh, all kinds of stuff here. The Howard Manor. Palm Springs. This is cool. Very cool. And then there's more. But look, there's more. A map, home of the giant cowboy, state line, and then in a uh, state line hotel and casino, state west of Salt Lake City, Elko, Nevada, Pearl City Tavern, Monkey Bar, Hawaii. And swizzle, we love our swizzles, we use them every day. Map of LA, Glendale, and California. Lion Van and Storage, 6370, that's that giant building. Yeah, those cool buildings. Look at that. When they took, they, they, they actually worked with architects to make storage places. So cool. And it's a, a cool map of the, of the area. The air conditioning just came on, so it's going to be a little bit noisy, but we have to do it that way because we'd die otherwise. They're neat. And what to see and do in Tampa. Ugh. The gem of Spanish restaurants. These are so fun. Thank you, Mitzi. These are just great fun. Cypress Gardens. I'm 
sure all of these cool places are gone. Could you imagine? Bush Gardens, I wonder if that's still there. The uh, That cool building, Ringling Museum, just there not that long ago. Thank you, Mitzi, these are very, everything's so wonderful, thank you very much, love it. Tina Louise's, who thought this morning when we woke up we would have Tina Louise's freshman year book? <laughs> We are down to the last box. This package came from someone called Tammy, and I don't know if this is home hand drawn or something like that, but sometimes the, the post office will plop a label right on top of it. So it looks it looks very nice, but I want you to know that, that it, uh, we see that and the post office plopped on it. So, uh, so I don't know if that was, if that was intentional or not, but let's see. Scott and Troy, I enjoy your content uh, very much as uh, I've always been a true crime Hollywood fan. Wanting to send you something for a while. I hope I found something you don't already have. If you do, I guess it can't be too much of a good thing uh, from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. This is a, a toe tag, cardiac arrest, Charles, Charles Mitz. Aw, isn't that sweet? Grotesque goodies. Oh, how funny. <laughs> how funny. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh gosh, look. <laughs> oh, well, you know, this, I mean, this, <laughs> this is, uh, it's so funny that these would show up today because I've never seen this before in my life. And uh, now there's, uh, now, yeah. Oh, these are cool though. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm really glad we opened the other one too because we I still know. have collectible ones too for that too. But oh, that Sammy, thank you very much for that. And there's, um, that's very kind of you. And this is Fragile. Very well packed, by the way, Tammy. Oh, look. Ooh. Is that Colonel? It's the Colonel. A coffee mug of the Colonel's head. Good chicken. That's cool. And it's like, look at that. It's like pottery. Or what do you call this? Um, clay. Clay, yeah. Oh, this is really cool. I, I don't have one like this. I've never seen one like this, actually. These are, this is very cool. Thank you. And actually, you say you're a fan of true crime. We were just watching that show, The Food That Made Us, and watched the current. That's a really good documentary, actually, on, uh, you know, like uh, Bird's Eye and Post and Kellogg's and, and all those people came came about. Uh, my brother-in-law suggested that to us. But uh, uh, this is cool. I, we love fast food, and we love the Colonel, and we love Liberace. And Tammy, thank you for setting that stuff. Uh, and thank you all for everything. The cool shirts and I don't like to say certain things because I won't say other things, but we love all the stuff that you sent us. It means a lot. It's, it's just good fun. Thank you.